You hear that? That's what it's been like for the past two days. All rainy and wet and cold. I'm wearing, I'm even wearing sweatpants. I look so sexy right now. My baggy sweatpants and baggy shirt and yeah. Ah, uh, anyhow, um, lost it. This happens way too often. I really need to think before I hit that record button. And I remembered. Okay, that rarely happens. Yes, you guys know. Anyways, remembered what I was going to talk about. I got my hair done today. It's darker. I'm kind of going back to like my more natural color. I think I'm dark, dark blonde, brownish, light brown. I'm not sure. It's kind of like that color there. It looks really dark in this video, but um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't remember what my natural hair color is. I haven't had my natural hair color since seventh grade, and that was how many years ago? I'm not going to do the math right now. Nope. It was a while ago. So, not falling down into the window well. Um, I was going to tell you that... <laughs> yes! Um, yesterday, so yesterday. Uh, right? It was yesterday. Did I do that yesterday? I think so. Or was it Monday? Might have been yesterday. Um, it was recently. <laughs> I freaking ordered the Nightwish single. The story time is supposed to come out on November 9th this year. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I can't even, like, contain my excitement. You guys have no idea how excited I am right now. Oh, my God. For that single to come out. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I also ordered a freaking sweet t-shirt. It's got, like, the, the like... I don't know, they called it an emblem sort of thing. It's round. It's got a raven and an owl and a, another bird on it that looks like a raven. <laughs> I don't know if they're two ravens and an owl. I don't know. But they're in like this circle thing. It's kind of cool. It's something I might want to incorporate into my Nightwish tattoo. So, but I'm really excited for to get the single in November. Oh my god! And let's see. And then I also bought a couple days ago my ticket for the Camelot concert that's going to be on the 18th, yes, Sunday the 18th, and I'm really excited for that, but I'm also really upset about it because, so, if you live in the S, in the S, if you live in the S, the States, <laughs> United States, if you live there, then you would know, and if you follow Camelot at all, then you would know that, um, Ailstorm is also touring with them, Ailstorm, Blackguard, and the Agonist, um, that's the tour lineup, pretty freaking awesome, right? I'm not a huge fan of the Agonists, they're okay, but they might grow on me. I don't know. I didn't really like them that much when I went to see them with whoever I saw them with. I don't know. But anyways, so I bought my concert ticket for that. But the night that Camelot will be here in Denver, Ailstorm and Blackguard will be in fucking Mexico. <laughs> in Mexico. They won't be here. So the only band that I will get to be seeing are the Agonist and Camelot. And it's not even Camelot with Khan. And I paid $30 for that ticket. I just punched myself in the head. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm still excited for the show. It's still Camelot. And Simone is touring with them. Simone from Epica. Epica. Yeah. So that's at least going to be really cool. And I mean, I know it's not Khan, but it's still Camelot. Like, it's, it's like Nightwish. They switch singers. Of course, you love the original singer. Like, God, I was in love with Khan. I ah, uh, his voice. Oh my god, when I went to see them in concert in 2008, he touched me and pulled, like, halfway pulled me on stage while he was singing. <laughs> it was the best moment of my life. And, um, aside from meeting Tawaskis, I don't know. Ooh, that's close. That's really close. Um, but anyhow, so Simone will be there. Um, what was I saying? Camelot. Con. Camelot's still the same. It's like Nightwish. They switch singers, but they will always be Nightwish. So if you're any kind of true fan of Camelot, then you will go see them on tour, even though Khan isn't there. True fan, what now, dudes and guys and girls and all of you good people out there. I was going to say a much more vulgar word, but I decided against it. And what else was I going to say? So, um, so Ailstorm and... Blackguard will be, Ailstorm is headlining a show in Tulsa on the 19th, that following day. So, I think a friend and I, and maybe a couple of other friends, if we can get people to go, are going to take a road trip down to Tulsa and go see Ailstorm headline. And I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm pretty excited for that. Because, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm 
yeah, extremely excited for that. I mean, how cool would it be to see Ailstorm headlining a show with Blackguard? So two of my favorite bands. Awesome. This vlog is way too long now, so I just thought I would tell you the amazingness that's happening in my life right now. Oh god, and I need to go practice my drums because our pipe band competition in Estes Park is this weekend, and I still don't have both of the sets memorized. Ah, oh god, I'm gonna be murdered this weekend, so I'm sorry. And I probably won't have internet up there. I'll probably say this again in, like, Friday's vlog or something. Probably won't have internet up there unless I go to McDonald's, and I don't go to McDonald's, so I may not be uploading vlogs that weekend. But I want to take, like, a whole, like, weekend tons of videos and I'll do like a weekend montage of the Scottish festival and it will be great. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. And what is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Thursday. And I'm working. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. We'll find out. Bye.